We typically think of three major phases of a medicine's life cycle. The first is research and development, which is where companies put in hundreds of billions of pounds to develop and test uh, new medicines. The second phase is when a medicine finally gets a license. That company has exclusive rights to sell that medicine for a period of time, as long as the price is uh, deemed to be appropriate by bodies like Knights. After that period of exclusive rights, which typically lasts about 10 years, is the third and final phase of a medicine's life cycle. And when a medicine reaches that stage, it stays there forever. This is why a month's supply of cholesterol treatment today costs less than the price of a cup of coffee. So these three phases of the life cycle of medicines are incredibly important because it allows companies to invest in medicines of the future, but it also makes sure that in the long run, medicines become very affordable. When the medicine's life cycle works appropriately, for every medicine that comes onto the market and creates a new cost for the NHS, older medicines are losing their patent exclusivity and becoming much, much cheaper. So the medicine's life cycle working well uh, helps keep spend on medicines under control.